All right, no one would start spoiling more identification of the profile of this radio broadcaster to this planet. I'm an entertainer. I hold my priceless audience priceless. Now then, am I capturing you? I'm here to capture an audience. Here's what I do. I shoot over the head of all entertaining I've ever heard and everything going on now. Nah, nah, nah. right, I shoot over the head. I shoot over your heads. Now I know you'll, you're, you're stooping. You'll stand up and hear that. I got my audience. Now I'm working now with YouTube, helping capture it on it. I'll show up live someday and see, if, like all these other guys, you know, Freddie you, puts all this work in records, and man, when Freddie gets on stage, you all showed up. Well, the promoter in the records did a lot of it, only Freddie did a lot of it himself. No one got better, put more work into getting ready, that's for sure. I mean, this guy rehearsed. He did some rehearsing. Ooh. I'm not that, I'm, I ain't no Freddy. That guy is rehearsed. I, um, well, I'm all right. So I'm just flashed. I was probably Big Brother. I'm rehearsed because of my genetics and my generations. All right, I'm rehearsed. Or right, I'm not as disciplined. How's that? Is that right? Yes. You be quiet. You're the reason for all of it. You, the Lord wrote, the Puka wrote an undisciplined script and I fell in it. I, <laughs> you did. You wrote an undisciplined script and I fell into it. That's right. Sinking ship. Undisciplined script. It's a, huh? I'm like Peter O'Toole. I saw this guy one time. He's the hero of the movie. And the ship sunk. And he went down with it because his foot got, everybody else would jump off the ship and get, and his foot got caught in a crack in the ship and he couldn't get away and the ship went down and he died with it and he was the hero of the movie. <gasps> Whoever wrote that script, what a creep. What a great actor, too. We played that role so great. Oh, man. It was crushing. Just, I, that shocked me to the end. What a way to end a movie. The, you know, the hero crew leaves the ship as it's sinking because they've gotten, got down. And, and you know, like the bad guy got it and all that. And when he went to leave the ship with the rest of the buddy, his foot got caught and he went down with the ship. <laughs> And the look of panic on his face was astounding how somebody can theater that. Whoa. Yeah, well. <laughs> Not enough discipline. Foot caught in a crack on a, shimpy, a, a, a sinking ship is the hero <laughs> in the movie. That's how I see me. Tough duty. Mm -hmm. Or you can't take it out on the rest. No, that's not what I'm up to. I'm not here to take it out on you. I'll take that scene and see what I can do to cause a lovely effect with it. That's all I got to work with. So, and I know what I got to do with it, cause a lovely effect. That's what the Lord said. So, uh, I, my, listen, my crew will do it. All I got to do is, um, oh, just entertain over your head. <laughs> I'll just shoot over your heads. I know you're there. I hope I'm collecting my audience now. I'll appear live sometime. And what I'll do is I'll send you simultaneously separate and everyone won't use the light switch one day at the same time. We'll, we'll do some things together and we won't do some things together. And one thing you won't do is use the light switch one day for maybe two hours all over the globe. You gotta help. Well, we gotta keep the iron lungs going. Other than that, lights are going out. All over the planet simultaneously. My marketing, well, I realize that marketing is an overhead everywhere. Where is marketing not an overhead? Now we can't smash it like Egypt and Libya is dumb. Now they got overhead because they gotta have some market. And our only market really is our living in a forest. Educated to things you don't chew up and Massacre, you dumb in your mouth. That's market. Only here a couple hundred thousand generations of that. So market now is overhead and you have to, I mean, all the grant addicts and, and, um, and these wonderful do good positions go home for two hours. How's that? That's even turning off a light switch. You know what I mean? Until you, you can't go home for two hours, then just at least turn the light switch off in the building. As you sit there and suck off the barnacle position of the bottom of a sinking and sunken, rotting in the sand ship. Simultaneously, 
not neglected in the street with a stick and a sign. That ain't working. Somebody's got to say that among you right now. No rights, not working, causing trouble, stop it. A conversation with this one on YouTube will do a lot more than a whole bunch of you in a stick going like this. Occupy, plugging it up. You are plugged up. What can plug you more than the Occupy you got? You want to add to that plug? Because everything's plugged up now with everything in prosperity that's plugged up. Got it plugged. Mm -hmm. Well, plugging it up more ain't going to help. Got it? No plugging it up. That ain't Occupy. That's what Occupy's doing now. Don't add to it. Got it? Pay attention. I'll tell you what to do. <laughs> They put those words in my mind. I'll tell you what will happen. Every time I speak, I'm howdy doody, and the central intelligence will tell you such lovely things that only intelligence would say right now. What would intelligence say? So I say, you're intelligent. Speak. I want intelligence speaking. What nation has an espionage agent named intelligence? United States. Speak! Intelligence? And nobody knows more than you about all of us than you. And the guy that knows the most about all of us don't think we're... Or they wouldn't ask us to live up. Now we are asked to be loved by somebody uh, and live up by somebody that knows us. Speak! I'm wonderful to live up. The police officer said, You are wonderful, you are not free, you will live up. You are wonderful, you are not free, you live up. You are wonderful, you are not free, you live up. You are wonderful, not free, you live up. Police officer. Move! Obey the police officer. You're wonderful, not free, live up. One!